Hey guys, welcome back to episode 7. In this episode, I'm gonna bring you guys throughout my entire workout where I'm gonna train chest and also biceps. I'll be showing you guys everything that I do, sets, reps, the weights, and also what do I do for warm up as well. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, my physique update, how do I look now after six weeks of dieting and training. So yeah, enjoy the video. Before we start our first set, we're gonna start with. Did I just pray? Sorry. We're gonna start with bench press. We're gonna start with bench press. So before we start with bench press, we will do two warm up sets. I'll start with the empty bar first, just to get some pump. And also, I'll add like 5 or 10 kilos just to get another warm up. And then only we'll go for the working set. The reason we are starting with bench press is because the first exercise is the exercise that you will have a lot of energy in you. So starting with a very good compound movement will build good strength because you don't want to do any like super heavy movements, especially the compound movements at the end of the workout. Try to put all the compound movement in the beginning so you can use all the energy in the compound exercise. The rep range is gonna be, I'll start with 15 reps, 15, 12, 10, and eight, four sets. And the weight goes the other way where I start with 20, and then I add 10, and then I add five, and then one more five. Let's start. When you're doing bench press, when you're holding the bar, this is the normal grip that I hold. You see this line from far, first line, second line. This is the Olympic bar and this is the standard bar. Every gym you go, the Olympic bar will be this uh, measurement. So, at the second line, I'll put my pinky and I'll hold this way. In this way, you can get a full range of motion, stretch and also contract. If you hold too far, the range of motion will be lesser you can't get a full range of contraction also stretch. If let's say you put it very close, you will start using more of your triceps and that is already defeating the entire purpose. So remember, not so wide, not so narrow, right at the middle. Slightly out of your shoulder width. And also make sure you use towel because you see this? This shouldn't happen to the next person who's using this bench. So, bring towel, use your towel. <sighs> Press where the machine is flat. Mainly it focuses on the, your mid chest and also it gives the overall pump. Now we're gonna do decline bench press where it focuses more to the lower side of your chest. And we're gonna keep trying to grow that part. So same thing, don't hold very wide or don't hold very narrow. Try to get the neutral grip where from out 
the second line. If you don't have the second line in the barbell that you're using in your gym, try to make sure put the arm straight from your chest, straight from your shoulders, and slightly open it out and then hold it. When you're bringing it down, make sure you bring it down all the way closer to your nipple line and then bring it up. Don't bring any lower or up. See, bring it to your nipple and up. Same thing to the bench press as well. When you're bringing the bar, try to bring it down to your nipple line. This is the line. Do not bring it very high because if you bring it very high, closer to your neck, you're gonna hit or use a lot of your shoulders. You don't wanna use other muscles. When you're training your chest, you just wanna focus on using that particular muscle. So chest, bring it to your nipple line and then bring it up. Stretch and contract. <coughs> <coughs> The rep range is also pretty much the same, 15 to 8 reps. If the weight gets too heavy, you can go up to 6 reps on the last set. Yeah, 4 sets, all exercises from first chest to the last chest exercises. Everything is 4, rep range 15 to 8 or 6. Unlike the previous workout that I showed you, which is leg, for the leg, different muscle requires different range of reps and also sets. For chest, I try to use it very uh, neutral way where four sets, all exercises, 15 to eight or sometimes six when the load is very heavy. Ah. Third set done, one more set. Okay, ah. we got eight, not bad. This is why I don't wear white baju. You see, if you notice in all the other episodes, mostly I wear dark colors, black, gray. First episode, I was like, okay, never mind, let's wear white. This is the outcome. So we started with bench press, first exercise, and then we did decline chest, where we focused more on the lower. Now we're gonna do incline on a Smith machine, where we're gonna focus a lot on the upper chest. Most of us have weaker up chest, not all, most, because due to gravity, everyone tend to have lower chest, more thicker compared to their upper chest. Upper chest is this part right below the collarbone. The goal is to grow this part where you can't see the collarbone. Akash, can you see mine? No. <laughs> but still got a long way to go, long, huge room to improve. So yeah, four sets. Same thing, 15 to 8 or 6 reps. Also one more thing, when you're doing chest exercises, not just checks, almost all the exercises, when you're doing each and every rep, try not to rush it. For example, bench press, right? When you're up, when you come down, try to control the movement, especially the negative movement. Bring it down slow, control the weight fully down, and then you press it up. When you bring it down slowly, you tend to put a lot of pressure by stretching the muscle. And then at the top, you go all the way on top and contract the part. Same goes to all exercises, bicep, tricep, shoulders, legs. Do every exercise slowly. This is not a sprint. Don't rush. Don't focus on putting a lot of weights and just pushing it very fast. No. It's, if, even if it's not very heavy, try to control the movement. Always remember form over the weights. It, it's not about doing super heavy. Super heavy weight, yes, of course you build strength and all, but form comes first. Make sure you develop a good form for all kind of exercises then slowly focus on lifting heavier and heavier for each set. And 
also make sure to re-rack the weights. I see most of the time. When we are, I mean, I'll go to Smith machine or squat rack or leg press. I'll go, I'll see three plates, four plates. This is the basic gym ethics. If you can put a lot of weights and press it, you should be also able to re-rack the weights. So yeah, especially if you're in body factory, make sure re-rack because the board's boss will get mad. This is the fourth exercise. We're gonna do the cable crossover. Uh, four sets as well. 15 reps, all sets. We still try to increase the weight every set, but maintain the reps 15 for all the sets. So what we're gonna do is pull the cables, clump, come forward, lean slightly forward, not too much, slightly forward, and then we're gonna fly to the bottom of your chest. So you give a good contraction and stretch at the bottom chest over this part over here. This part over here. Let's go. We have covered four exercises. The first one, bench press, where we focus mainly in the middle part and also overall. Then second exercise, decline chest press, where we focus more on the lower chest. Third exercise, incline uh, smith press, where we focus more on the upper. And then for the fourth exercise, we did cable crossover, where we pull the cable all the way to down, where we focus more on the stretch. These first three exercises are considered compound, where we can we get to do heavy and then the fourth exercise is already a uh, more isolated exercise where we focus on particular movement or particular part where cable crossover we focus more on the stretch because all the previous first three exercises we focus on the compression the fourth one we're gonna focus on the st uh, stretch part then this is the last exercise where we're gonna focus more to the middle part the compression where we're gonna hold the bar here, this grip, and then we're gonna press and try to squeeze as much as possible at the top of the movement. All right, let's go. Too light. All right. Push it to him. size for the chest we are doing only three because three sets because the, all the first four exercises were heavy high rep as much as I could so chest is already super tired and exhausted so this one we do three sets 10 to 12 reps try to give as much uh, compression as possible yeah maximum effort Every Monday I do this, I train chest and biceps. So for chest, five exercises. First four exercises, four sets. The last exercise, three sets. Then I move into bicep. For bicep, I will do only three exercises and all three of them are gonna be three sets each. The reps will be slightly different. So the first exercise, this is the one, machine pre-checker. I'm gonna do 20 reps for each set for the total of three sets. Same thing as I told earlier, even for bicep, always remember full range of motion is very important. So every time you curl, you go all the way up, give full contraction and with the weight, control down, go as low as possible and stretch it all the way out. Contract, stretch, go down slow. important thing do not keep your phone here because this is what will happen okay this is the second 
an exercise for biceps, trade bar curl, same thing, three sets. This one, the rap range is gonna be 12 to 10. I'll try to increase the weights, reset, and try not to do two light, uh, lesser reps. Same thing, full range of motion, all the way down, stretch, go all the way up, contract. When you do this, this is very important, do not move your body like this. Try to bring your shoulders back, chest up, lock your elbows, elbows shouldn't move front or back. From here, all the way up, down. Last exercise for today, we're gonna do hammer curl. Previously, we did preacher curl where the grip was closer, where we hit a lot of outer angle of your bicep. And then we came in here for straight bar curl, the grip was slightly away. So where we hit inner part of the bicep, which means we pretty much covered the entire biceps. Now we're gonna do hammer curl. We're gonna do alternative, alternate hammer curl, where we're gonna focus more of your forearms and also this part of your bicep. So when you go up, you try to contract from here and the entire forearm as well. So same thing, full range of motion, try to stretch and contract and alternative movement. So we're gonna go one by one, three sets of 12 reps. Let's go. Shit, yeah, okay, let's go. That's it, we're done with hammer curl. Pretty much the entire day is done. The reason I used to do hammer curl on this bench is because same reason I don't want to rock my body while performing this exercise. So when your back is supported with your legs pushing backward your body, your body will be stable where you don't have a lot of body movement. It will become very isolated where you only focus on your bicep contract stretch so yeah that's it we're done with chest and biceps i've explained all the reps sets rest period you guys know in between your exercise try to keep one minute or 45 seconds in between your exercises keep one and a half minute to two minute max the shorter it is the more intense the workout becomes the longer your rest is the more useless your workout is going to be try to keep your rest very short minimal to keep the intense rate at peak. First, episode one's body update and episode seven's body update. So you guys can see what happens to your body when you're on a consistent diet and training for the entire seven weeks. And it's, we are still, we are not even halfway. We still got 10 more weeks to go. The body is gonna transform a lot. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys learn new stuff, new tips and tricks training and developing your chest like that <laughs> so yeah more episodes are coming so i'll see you guys on episode 8 if you enjoy this video or if you learn new things from this video do share with your friends do subscribe i can see in the anal analytics a lot of you a lot of you are watching without subscribing so don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon so you get the notification whenever i upload new episodes see you guys